the previous video, we added different buttons to the form. In this video, we will look at commands. So commands is basically the action which will be performed when you click that button. Okay. So to add a command, go to that section under commands and just click on this plus sign. Okay. Let's start off by giving an ID for this command which will help us identify as to what this command is doing. Okay. So uh, let me first add a command for the Google button which is basically needs to redirect you to the Google page. Okay. Alright. So the first thing which you need to do is add an action that is what actually needs to happen when you click that button okay so to add an action just click on add action and choose between URL action or JavaScript action URL action means that you will be giving a URL and the system will redirect you to that particular URL which you give when you click that button Okay. So that's what we need to do for this one. So to do that, just click on URL action. Mention the website to which we need to be directed to when we click on that button. In this case, it is Google. Okay, that's it. Now, if you have like uh, some custom web page, then you have the option to like, you know, pass parameters. If you are to pass a parameter, keep this as true and then mention the parameters which you want to pass. Window mode. Window mode, you have the option between window, model dialog and model this dialog. Now, window is that it will open it in a new tab. Model dialog means it will uh, open in that particular tab itself, but you won't be able to uh, select anything outside that particular tab okay for example now this is the form page okay i've opened a web resource which has been added to that form and right now i cannot do anything outside this particular uh, screen this particular screen that is the web resource screen okay so uh, until I click OK, OK, then only I would be able to edit all this. Okay, that that is basically window mode of model dialog. Modelless dialog is the opposite of uh, model dialog. You would be able to edit the outside uh, outside pages and all that. Okay, all right. I'm just going to choose the window mode as window. Okay, so now I'm done with my uh, action as to what needs to happen when I click on that button. We'll be looking at display rules and enable rules in the next videos. Now I'm going to add some more commands. To do that, just click on plus again. I'm going to edit the ID for this first. I'm going to call this update facts. Command. This is basically to be used for the uh, flyout button. Okay. So, what we need to do is now click on add action, and this time I'm going to choose a JavaScript action which is there in our web resources. As the name indicates, we are actually going to trigger a JavaScript function. Okay. So, to do that, we have to choose the library. And the function name now I have already written the JavaScript uh, code which I'm going to be using for this uh, ribbon ribbon customization and uh, the function which I'm going to be referencing is update facts preference okay so I'm just going to copy that function name and go back to my uh, ribbon workbench and first mention the library in which that function is customer account library 
and then mention the function name okay so an important point to note about javascript actions is that the library which you are referencing which in this case is custom account library needs to be added to the form in which that button is in so in my case it is on the account form okay so the buttons which i'm adding is going to be on the account form so the custom account library the library which i've added needs to be added to the list of javascript libraries in this form so go to form properties and ensure that that particular javascript library has been added to your form so as you can see my custom account library has been added to the form and in this i have all the functions which i'm going to be using okay so um, the first thing which i'm using is this update facts preference okay where it's going to set this field called do not facts to true okay so that's what this uh, function is doing so just referencing this function over here now you can see that the uh, update facts preference function is taking an input of primary control for its actions so we need to pass this primary control to our uh, as an input okay to do that just click on add parameter and click crm parameter the value just choose primary control okay so the primary control will be passed as an input similarly i'm going to add a few more uh, commands this is update email reference charge production Start of the uh, custom account library. Very similar to fax preference. It's updating the email preference. Again, okay, going to pass a parameter, which is primary control. Add an action which is JavaScript. Start of the account library. This one is actually bulk email reference. I'm going to pass a parameter which is CRM parameter. Primary control. Okay. So now I've added all the uh, actions which I'm going to be using for update contact preferences. Now I'm going to add some actions for my update money details button, the split button. Okay. This one is also going to be some JavaScript actions, but this one is actually going to follow workflow. Okay. Call this update annual revenue. Okay. Now this is also going to be a JavaScript action. So going to reference a function in the same custom account library. I'm going to be using the update annual revenue function. This is also taking an input of CRM parameter primary control. So what this one is doing is, it is slightly different. This one is actually going to be calling a workflow, which will in turn update the annual revenue field. Okay. The workflow ID is this one. Okay. And it's going to be updating the record on which this uh, button is being clicked on. Okay. 
so so yeah uh, this is basically the code which you need to write to call a workflow okay so let me show the uh, workflow so this is the update I'm calling this update annual revenue workflow now I have the option to update the record directly through JavaScript but I'm doing it through the workflow just to show you how to like you know uh, call a workflow through JavaScript code so this workflow is a simple workflow all it's doing is it's updating the account the field which it's updating is the annual revenue field so if I uh, search for the annual revenue field you'll see that it's updating of it's updating it to 50,000 okay similarly I have um, I have workflows which will update the credit limit and the market capitalization field I'll be using these workflows as well so yeah um, so in this this is taking an input of the primary control because I am taking the primary control as an input okay so yeah now I'm adding one more command which is market capitalization add action JavaScript action very very similar to uh, to the uh, other uh, JavaScript actions which I have added similarly I'm going to be adding another uh, another uh, JavaScript action which is update credit limit okay then I'm going to add a parameter which is primary control okay all right now I've added all the commands which I needed to add that is the actions which the different actions which will be performed when we click certain buttons okay the next thing which we need to do is make the button appear only on certain scenarios I don't want the button to appear at all times to do that I need to add either a display rule or a enable. Let's look at that in the next videos.